Associations across the industry are also taking a more active role in developing and recruiting women for positions within manufacturing and distribution. NAAD's Women in Industry Group was established under Tammy Miller's tenure as chair in 2008. And the Industrial Supply Association's Women Industrial Supply Executives Group was started just this past fall. Kathleen Durbin talked with me a little bit about the drivers behind the establishment of this group. I had always wanted to do something with women throughout my involvement in ISA, which goes back at least 20 years, and could see the changes in the number of women coming into the industry. I served on the executive committee of ISA from 2007 through 2012. Part of that five-year process was to go through a strategic planning process for ISA. How did ISA, the Industrial Supply Association, fit within the scope of the larger channel? When we went through that fairly extensive process, the realization came to us that any time we had differentiating aspects of our members and we provided the opportunity for them to get to know each other and be together, learn from each other, or learn together, it created a dynamic event and a dynamic group. It served the association purposes because it cemented those people, those businesses as solid members and participating members of the association, but it also gave back to those members skill sets, opportunities to build these relationships that are key to business. It gave them educational opportunities. So we saw that it is being really a win-win-win situation all the way around. And I knew by the metrics that I had enough women within the industry, even though we might not be all that obvious, we do have enough of us to form a meaningful group. And we identified between 50 and 100 women who are listed on our ranks of all of our members. They might not have been the CEOs, but they might have been the national sales managers or the chief financial officers, or they might have been branch managers or marketing managers or vice presidents of sales. The coming together of the group has been such a dynamic, fluid, enthusiastic experience that I think it's really taken everybody a little bit by surprise. And the women themselves are very enthusiastic about having an opportunity to meet other women. When I go to the convention, I'm not looking for women. I'm not looking for men. I'm looking for business opportunities. But to have a group of women where you are, you're setting aside a little bit of time to get to know somebody, you're creating that relationship that could lead to business opportunities, it gives a little different opportunity to not only learn from other people, but to share. We like to be with women. We like to like giggle, have a little fun. It serves that purpose. And I also think that women are uniquely tuned in to wanting to improve themselves. They want an opportunity to learn more skills that can position themselves to improve what they're doing in their careers. And I do think that's a differentiator between the genders, that women you know, come to the table and say, you know, teach me something new. Here's where I would like to improve myself. And so that's resonated as well. The Manufacturing Institute is also working to highlight the role of women in the industry and educate women about career opportunities. Here's Jennifer McNelly again on the role the group is playing in manufacturing. The Institute created Step Ahead, the Women in Manufacturing program, to really shine a light on the contribution of an important element of our workforce, the women that show up in the front lines and in the C-suites and everywhere in between. I'm sure you might be familiar with uh, a lot of the headlines that are out there on manufacturing and the challenges that we face in finding qualified workers. And what we as an institute did as part of that is look to how we promote the diversity of our workforce and build strong pathways and present a new face in American manufacturing. So most individuals don't understand that we make things in this country. And we see our STEP initiative as one of the opportunities in which to showcase a new face to manufacturing, individuals that have made significant contributions within their companies, within their communities, and to the nation's competitiveness as a whole. Part of what our own research tells us is there are a couple key elements that help support the success of women 
in manufacturing sure. careers. And part of that is having opportunity and access to meaningful work, <laughs> something we all want. Um, equally <laughs> how sure. they have an opportunity to have um, mentors and then the ability to network with each other. So as we thought about the important elements of this national initiative, we took all of those into account. As Nancy Combs told me, the industry will continue to change. It simply isn't going back to where it was before. So it's important for people already in the industry to make sure that there's a role for women as we move forward.